We have the coach of Team Egg Howard of Delta Street, the Lions. Coach's football season. What's expected of the Lions this year? We uh, we got some high expectations. We're looking for a um, much better season we had last year. I think we only won three games last year, but you know we were playing varsity ball with ninth and tenth graders. So this year we added the eleventh grade, and so uh, we got a year older. And then the teams that we played against graduated their seniors, and so it's starting to kind of level off a little bit. We still got a small number. We got. Uh, three, uh, four 11th graders playing, and then we got four 10th graders playing, and uh, and then we got everybody else is going to be ninth grade out there on the field. So, uh, but you know, our, our 11th and 10th graders, I mean, they, they definitely can hold their own. It's just a matter of can they go the entire game or not. Talk about your practices to this point. Yeah, we. Uh, uh, it's it's tough to practice when you only got that many guys out there. Uh, you know, as far as being able to match up and make it competitive, and, and so uh, you know. Uh, I mean, we, we do the best we can with what we got, and uh, but they've been much better this year than they were last year. There's no doubt about it. And then part of it is, is the guys are, uh, you know, they just are playing for a championship this year, and um, and they're just excited because they've gotten better, and they can tell that. Okay, how do you offset the challenges of, of practices not having uh, quite enough guys? How do you counter yeah, that? Yeah, I mean, our, the one thing we do is we just kind of go a lot of one-on-ones, and then we uh, just go half line. So we might only have half the guys on one line, uh, and then the other guys that could match up with them on the defensive line type deal. And then linebackers and tailbacks and so on and so on. And, and this league, uh, a lot of scores, huh? Uh, more than I like, unfortunately. So, uh, I mean, it, it's possible that, uh, you know, the score could be 80 to 70. Uh, and so that means ultimately nobody's stopping anybody. They're just, just who's the last team to score? In, in this game, what do, you, what do you stress? Offense, defense, what do you do? Uh, on on I mean, offense is one of those things you just try to get one-on-ones and, and have your guy beat their guy. And then on defense, the game plan, you know, everybody's running to the ball. And um, just it, it's spread out so much, it's one-on-ones. And so you, your guy has to beat the guy he's guarding. And if he's not, it's, it's a touchdown. Uh, I noticed some of the guys uh, got some good sides out there and look to, look to be some good athletes, too. Oh, yeah. I mean, there's no doubt about it. We got, uh, you know, one guy's, what, 6'7", 360, another one's 6'2", 260. And, I mean, those guys, uh, I mean, whoever they're going up against, we typically expect our guys to be able to win that battle. And so that makes it a lot easier on uh, play calling, and it helps out everybody else on the squad. And then uh, our tailback, who's actually not going to be playing uh, for discipline reasons uh, this coming up Saturday, uh, I mean, he's a man child, and, and he make, it's hard to bring him down. And so uh, between those three guys, it makes the other five positions a little easier to uh, put guys in there to be successful, for sure. Will you have any, any home games? Uh, uh, unfortunately, or? this year we will not. We're working on that to maybe next year have uh, home games, but yeah, well, every game is on the road. We're, we're, we're the road dogs. Okay. Talk about your schedule. How many games for this season? We got uh, 11 games, so uh, we don't have an off uh, week, um, and, and then the game plans to go in the playoffs. And so, I mean, if we if we make it all the way to state championship, we play 14 football games. Okay. Not having the numbers that you like at this point in Metacom, uh, any way you play and try to preserve or give the kids rest? How many minutes do you play a quarter? Yeah, uh, that, that's, we play 12 minute quarters, and uh, I mean, what we do is is you know, we try to pull guys out that are tired in, in, a, in a play where we know we're not running to their side or whatever and uh, to be able to give them a breather. And, uh, I mean, at some point it's just they just don't come off the field. And, and uh, unfortunately, they don't realize how much endurance it takes until that first game. And then after the first game, they realize, all right, wow, I need to be going a lot harder in practice. And, and as a coach, I'm sure that knowing the game and knowing what you're working with, you uh, express a lot of uh, emphasis on – on getting in shape. Oh, there's no doubt about it. And, and the nice thing is this past spring we got some weights, and so we actually did a little weightlifting. So our guys are definitely stronger, which will make us that much more competitive compared to the years before when we weren't lifting weights. And, I mean, our guys could tell the teams that we played against that they were lifting weights. This is a wet year for you in terms of football. Uh, this is our uh, fourth season coming up. Mm -hmm. So uh, the first year we played, uh, the first two years we actually played 11-man football. Okay. And then uh, last year we played eight-man for the first time and then uh, doing eight-man again for uh, this year. Which one do you like best? Oh, 11-man for sure. I mean, okay. uh, somewhere deep down inside, eight-man football doesn't feel like real football. Uh, but with that being said, I mean, when you strap them on the pads, it's, it's the same game. You, you know, one team's trying to get in the end zone, the other team's trying to keep it from not getting in the end zone. Talk about the league you're in this year. How competitive would it be? Your shots, at, at opportunity to win it. Yeah, we. Uh, I mean, there, there's some good teams. That was one thing I was uh, underestimated last year. I, I thought uh, we would be a little more competitive just playing with ninth and tenth graders. Uh, but I didn't realize the the difference between a ninth grader and a senior, even in eight man football. Even though there might only be one or two guys out there that are you know that much bigger than our ninth grade guys, mm -hmm. one or two guys in eight man football can change it. And, and so, uh, um, you know. We will definitely have to play our best football to be able to compete and make it a run in the playoffs. But with that being said, 
if our guys do what they're supposed to, I mean, there, there's no reason we shouldn't make it out of our district into the playoffs. And, and from that point on, you know, anybody can win at that. Talk about the staff. Do you get much help with your coaches? Uh, we got one other guy that's full time, okay. and then we have a couple uh, volunteers that come help out when they can. And, and okay. so, uh, uh, but you know, when you only got 20 guys out there, you don't have to have too many coaches out there. Coach, thanks an awful lot. We appreciate your time. Good luck on the 2015 oh, season. Thank you, sir. Okay.